What's up guys, serious Evil Stuff Gaming, my name is Evil, and let's get it on. Today I want to provide you another part of my UI and add-on series, and today we want to go straight forward to the next configurations. First of all, I want to answer a question I recently got. Um, the question was there... Uh, a viewer wasn't able to change the chat font size and the background of the chat permanently. So uh, I want to answer that, that question in between that part too. And um, I think we go straight forward to answering this question. First of all, as you can see here, you could uh, change uh, the font size uh, in between the chat frame. But when you do this, let me show you, use 16. When you do this, it changes uh, immediately, but uh, after uh, relocking or uh, UI reload, you aren't, uh, it's, it, it's switching back to the normal size. So let me show you this. Let me say I do a reload, an interface reload. And here you are, it changes back to the uh, 14 thighs. So, uh, as you can see here, it's back to 14. Also, uh, another viewer had problems with the background. It uh, still be uh, uh, the black one like it looks here and not fr transparency like uh, usual. So, uh, we have to go straight forward to the Louis option menu and change it there. It You don't have uh, the possibility to change it permanently within the normal chat frame settings. So we go straight forward to the Louis settings. So there we go to chat and here we are. Here's the, the, here is the size uh, uh, setting and we change it to 16. Another part is, as you can see here, it changed to 16. Another part is to change the background to make it uh, transparent. Just click here, pull it down, okay, close, and here you are. Let's do a UI reload and take a look. Okay, here you are. It's still 16 and the background is gone. So, uh, this was a quick answer to the questions I recently got from two of uh, our viewers. So, let's go straight forward to the header of the UI and let's uh, take a look over the poss possibilities there. So, as you can see here, and I said it before, uh, you are able to, uh, or let me say, disable to uh, the frames uh, on the footer side. So just click it and the frames are gone. But you also can uh, activate different frames like the grid frame or, and the chat frame and hide the, the omen and the scatter frame. Or you can just uh, activate the grid frame. If you want to activate everything, just click on the world button here. I would say world button. <laughs> okay, um, and here you are. It's showing up again. So on the other side, there are a lot of information in between the header. So uh, there is the money part, the packs, the armor. The FPS that is very important. The the connection, latency, and uh, the memory usage. So uh, there you have a list of all add-ons that are right now active, and you also see how many uh, bandwidth uh, 
the different add-ons are using right now. It's a good indication when you have any problems within an add-on. It's not up to date or stuff like that. You have uh, uh, there is a new patch around and you still have the old version of uh, any add-on. You see here, this add-on would t would take more bandwidth. Uh, as usual and you can say okay this add-on is work is not working i have to check an update so this is also a very important part of the ui on the other side there is a, a small tbs information it's not a, a dbs meter like scatter or recount but you can she is you, you can see uh, uh, the max dbs you're already doing Another point is uh, the guild part. I'm not right now in a guild. If I would, if you are in a guild, there are also listed all guild members that are online right now. On the other side, there is a friend list. If you have any friends in there and they are online, you can click them in in between the list, and you can whisper them directly over. Uh, the over this info text so it's very helpful on the right side we have the colander so you are able to see your raid invites your battleground invites your the events and stuff as usual as you know it so here we are in between the all the important stuff you 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 are looking for uh, it's the same stuff as you know from the blizzard standard uh, 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 standard ui it's the char info spell book talents achievements quest log and so on on so uh, you also can hide this frame just click this and you can hide it so it looks a little bit cleaner but I love to have it on top so um, this was uh, the header information overview just go straight to the different informations in between the settings let's go to info text and here you are here you have all possibilities to hide specific uh, informations on the top. So let's say we don't want to uh, we want to hide the TPS uh, meter here. We just go, we click this, go to TPS, disable it, and it's gone. So whenever you want to hide anything here just go to info text and uh, you are able to hide it let me say you don't want to show the gold you have right now just click on gold disable it gun and whenever you want to show it up again enable it and it's done so uh, this is very handsome and the information is really helpful in between the header so uh, it's really a plus for this interface so uh, I would say I end up with the interface parts right now and with part 4 we, we go straight forward into the add-on part I'm using so I will talk about the different add-ons uh, I'm using and how uh, you are able to set them up and stuff like that afterwards I'm we are done with uh, the interface and add-on parts I will go straight forward to your answer and questions so I will do also a separate video with your specific questions so if you have any specific question please drop me a line below I will put them together and will provide a video about it so uh, if you have any questions drop me a line I will answer in the best way I can within a video so um, 
this was uh, the one thing I want to talk about. Another point is I noticed recently that a lot of subscriber aren't up to date with in uh, the information I provide new videos. So uh, it this is a bug in between YouTube right now. So uh, I don't know when they are fixing this. But um, if you want to be up to date with new videos and go straight forward to the new video, uh, make sure to add me on Facebook and Twitter. I have the information and links in the description below. So make sure if you want to stay up to date, add me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm also frequently looking over my Facebook and Twitter accounts and will answer also questions there. So if you want to stay up to date, add me there, link in the description below. So I would say this was the last part about the UI, but don't worry, I will answer the question within the answer and question video, as I said before. So um, I would say guys, have fun, have fun with the UI. I end up with my motto, keep it real and it's all about the games. Bye bye guys. Job job. Ah. 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 Ah.